99 gold medals on the PPA Tour. What does a 100th gold medal mean to you if you're able to get that done here in Cincinnati? Uh, yeah, you know, um, honestly, I don't think about the numbers too much or titles. You know, I'm always out here to, to win no matter what. So, um, yeah, just competing for, the for uh, you know, to win. And uh, if it ends up at, at 100, then I'd be happy with that. Ben, so I, I saw you, you were chatting with yourself a little bit uh, throughout that match, Colin Schick. Really good deception on both wings, forehand and backhand. What are you thinking coming into a matchup uh, with a player that is very tough to anticipate and figure out where he's going to go? Yeah, no, I was certainly frustrated with uh, not reading his shots well at all. Um, I kept kind of having to remind myself to basically just hang out in the spot that he likes and make him hit the harder shot because uh, I kept leaning the wrong way. Uh, he had some good shots off my drops as well. So against them, I, you just got to, you know, you got to play the probabilities and be in the right spot. And if they hit the better shot, then so be it. You got to let them have it. Speaking of long term, you got to tap into your baseball background a little bit the other day. What did you do to prepare? And how did you feel about the first pitch you threw out at storied Wrigley Field? Uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, I played baseball up until I was a sophomore in high school as a pitcher. Uh, so it felt good to be back on a mound again to prepare. I threw baseball once a week before. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, going out there, uh, the pitch felt good. It was a little high and inside. Give him uh, a little chin music if there's a batter in there, which I never <laughs> mind. Well, you've been giving chin music to a lot of opponents in pickleball as well. So way to throw that brush back at Wrigley. Ben, thanks for taking some time, and uh, good luck the rest of the day here in Cincy. Thank you.